Hello and welcome to Brain Booster, the channel that helps you boost your knowledge and awareness about important health topics. In this video, we will be discussing 10 ways to detect breast cancer early. Number 1 Monthly Breast Self Exams The first and easiest way to detect breast cancer early is through monthly breast self exams. You can do this at home, in the shower, or lying down. Start by using the pads of your fingers to feel your breast tissue, checking for any lumps or bumps. Don't forget to check your underarms as well. If you notice any changes, such as a lump, swelling, or dimpling, schedule an appointment with your doctor. Number 2 Mammography A mammogram is an X-ray of the breast that can detect breast cancer even before you notice any symptoms. The American Cancer Society recommends that women should start getting regular mammograms at age 40, but some women may need to start earlier depending on their family history or other risk factors. Talk to your doctor about when you should start getting mammograms. Number 3 Clinical Breast Exams A clinical breast exam is similar to a self-exam, but it's performed by a doctor or other healthcare professional. During the exam, the healthcare professional will check for any lumps or other abnormalities. The American Cancer Society recommends that women in their 20s and 30s have a clinical breast exam every 3 years, and women over 40 have a clinical breast exam every year. Number 4 Breast Ultrasound A breast ultrasound uses sound waves to create images of the breast tissue. This test can help your doctor determine if a lump is a fluid-filled cyst or a solid mass. It can also be used to guide a needle during a biopsy to determine if the lump is cancerous. Breast ultrasounds are often used in conjunction with mammograms for women with dense breast tissue. Number 5 Magnetic Resonance Imaging MRI. A breast MRI uses a powerful magnet and radio waves to create images of the breast tissue. It can detect breast cancer in women who have a higher risk of developing the disease, such as those with a family history of breast cancer or those with a genetic mutation that increases their risk. However, breast MRI is not recommended as a screening tool for all women, as it can sometimes produce false positives. Number 6 Genetic Testing Genetic testing can help determine if you have a higher risk of developing breast cancer. This test can detect mutations in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes, which are associated with a significantly increased risk of breast and ovarian cancer. If you have a family history of breast cancer, talk to your doctor about whether genetic testing may be right for you. Number 7 Breast Biopsy If your doctor detects a lump or abnormality during a clinical breast exam, mammogram, or other test, a breast biopsy may be necessary to determine if the lump is cancerous. During a biopsy, a small amount of tissue is removed and examined under a microscope. There are several types of breast biopsies, including a fine needle aspiration biopsy, a core needle biopsy, and a surgical biopsy. Number 8 Breast Thermography Breast thermography is a test that uses infrared imaging to detect changes in the temperature of the breast tissue. It can detect abnormalities in the breast tissue, including those that may be cancerous. However, breast thermography is not currently recommended as a screening tool for breast cancer, as there is not enough evidence to support its effectiveness. Number 9 Clinical Breast Exams by a Trained Nurse Clinical breast exams can also be performed by a trained nurse. Some healthcare facilities offer this service, which can be especially helpful for women who may not have access to regular healthcare or who may be uncomfortable with a physician exam. A trained nurse can check for any abnormalities and help guide women on next steps if needed. Number 10 Breast Awareness and Education One of the most important ways to detect breast cancer early is through breast awareness and education. This means being familiar with your breasts and understanding what is normal for you. Pay attention to any changes, such as lumps, pain, or discharge, and talk to your doctor if you notice anything unusual. Educate yourself on the risk factors for breast cancer, such as age, family history, and lifestyle factors like alcohol consumption and physical activity. So take care of your health, and stay informed about breast cancer and other important health issues. Thank you for watching Brain Booster, and we'll see you in the next video.